In this video, we will be doing a online bookshop book haul. Dito ko na title ko dito, basta book haul. <laughs> Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Roanne. So, sa bukal na ito, ito yung mga books na nabili ko sa mga online shops. Mainly sa Shopee, sa Facebook, tsaka sa Instagram. Yan. So, sa totoo lang nabuksan ko na ito talaga guys. Kasi chinek ko siya. Kasi mahirap na pagkulang, diba? Pero may papakita ko sa inyong clips na kung paano ko siya in-unbox. May kita nyo yun later on. So, unay ko na si Rad Bargain by Ali. So, ito sa Shopee siya. Ito, napaship out to nung February 27, tapos na tanggap ko siya the next day nung February 28. Tapos galing pa siyang Laguna. Nakalagay nga dito, A++ for packaging, freebies, and the book quality. Like, magkano na bili ko dito guys? 120 pesos lang yata bili ko dito overall kasama na doon yung shipping kasi ginamit ko yung aking coins or gumamit din ako ng free shipping voucher. Kaya nakuha ko to ng mura lang. This is the best. Unahin ko to siguro buksan. Buksan na natin to guys. Sinabi ko na yung rating ko dito for this shop guys. Okay? So, sa bukal na to, magsasabi din ako ng onting synopsis about this book. Ay. So, may kitin na dito yung unboxing guys. So, the first book guys sa bukol na to is itong Children of Blood and Bone ni Tommy Adeyami. So, matagal ko na talaga hinahanap tong book na to guys. Pero lagi ako naunahan. Nung una ko itong nakita is nung nagsil yung NBS, 50 pesos lang daw to isa. Pero, nung pumunta ako dun sa NBS na yung kasan available, ubus na daw. Hindi ko siya alis sa plastic guys kasi hindi ko pa siya babasahin kasi hindi pa tapos yung series or trilogy. This is the first book sa Legacy of Orisha. So, dalawa pa lang yung book na nakalabas. Hindi pa to finished. So, this is a fantasy book inspired by African culture. Yan. Ang nakapag, ano talaga sa akin dito, nakakapagpahook is sabi niya, They killed my mother, they took our magic. They tried to bury us. Now we rise. Ayan. Ayan yung sinabi ni Zelly. Zelly? Pati sulat ko guys. Hindi ko maintindihan. <laughs> Zelly Adibola. So sa mundo nun to, Magic disappeared under the order of the king. Ayan. Tapos meron din nitong Enemies into Lovers. So, this book or these two series really reminds me of the Embrace series by Carolyn Sparks in terms of the suppression of magic. Kasi natapos ko na yung libro ni Carolyn Sparks, guys. Yung The Embrace series. So, ito, hindi ko pa siya nasisimulan. So, hindi ko alam kung gano'n sila magkaparehas. Pero, pagdating sa suppressing magic yun. So, the next, mm -hmm. Biblis Toxin. Ang hirap po sa inang shop niya, guys. Huwag kayo maglala. Ililink ko lahat ng shop nila sa description box. Don't worry, okay? So, sa Shopee rin to. So, nakita ko to sa post ni Donna sa Facebook. Kay Donna po yung shop. Yeah, ito yun. So, hindi talaga ito yung original packaging kasi ito yung kauna-unang package na natanggap ko talaga, guys. So, na-pick up to sa kanya noong February 20. Tsaka na-deliver siya noong the next day, noong 21. Ayan. So, nabuksan ko na talaga to guys. Kasi, ito talaga yung kauna-unahang dumating. Ever. Ito yung nagpasimula ng aking downfall sa pagbili ng books. <laughs> Talaga. So guys, the next book naman is itong The Diviners ni Liba Bray. So, this is the first book sa The Diviner series. So, meron itong four books and this is finished already. So, you can buy and read this already. So, this book is a supernatural mystery series set in Manhattan during the 1920s. Ano nga sabi ko sa inyo guys? Short but sweet. So, the next naman is yung galing sa Bookbanks PH. So, sa Shopee din to. Ship out siya noong March 3. So, natanggap ko siya ng March 4. Or the next day. So, galing pa ito ng Cavite, guys. Oh my gosh. Grabe, guys. Ang kalat na doon sa gilid. So, so the next book, guys, is itong Furies of Calderon ni Jim Butcher. Ayan, pasensya nyo na kung may shiny, shiny. Kasi, naka-plastic siya, guys. Ang ganda rin ng packaging nito. Super, yeah. Buti nga, ano, naka-bubble wrap to. Kasi, muntikan ko na talaga siyang 
Yung paggupit ko, munti ka na. Buti lang may bubble wrap, guys. <laughs> My goodness. This is the first book sa Codex Alira series. So, sa series na ito, meron siyang six books. And I think this is finished already sa pagkakaalam ko. So, itong book na to, this is about romance and Pokemons na pinaghalo in a high fantasy setting. Ayan, ito po yung book na yun. Romance and Pokemons. Sa totoo lang, Nung narinig ko yun, na-curious ako, kaya binili ko tong book na to. Sana magustuhan ko siya. So, the next book, guys, is itong The Drives Me, Jim Butcher. So, this is the six book sa The Dresden Files. So, sa buong series sa to, 17 books pa lang yung nare-release. So, this is still an ongoing series. May nagsabi nga sa akin sa Facebook na 16 books lang daw to. But, hindi. <laughs> Nakita ko sa Goodreads, tatuloy pa rin pala to. The next book naman is itong that masks me Jim Butcher so this is the fifth book sa The Dresden Files so katulad ng sinabi ko kanina dito meron siyang 17 books hindi ko masasabi yung synopsis dahil meron din dito sa ibang book package na nabili ko yung ibang libro ni Jim Butcher the next book naman guys is itong Bliss ni Lindsay Sands so Itong book na to, historical romance to guys. Alam niyo naman, sa aking channel, mahilig po ako sa historical romance dahil pagpurgan ako sa mga ganitong books, kailangan ko ng palate cleansers. <laughs> so, itong book na to, this book is an arranged marriage or forced marriage and enemies into lovers trope. Ayan, binigyan ko na kayo ng trope guys. Kung gusto nyo, ito yon. So, ito sa book na to, the king ordered them to marry just to stop them from bickering and fighting. Ang naalala ko na basa ko na to eh, before, but now, hindi ko na maalala ko ano nangyari. Ang naalala ko lang dito, natatawa ko kasi nag-aaway sa nag nag-aaway. Like, oh, the chemistry, sige, aaway lang kay John Go. <laughs> Ang naalala ko sa book na to. The next naman is itong The Countess ni Lindsay Sands. So, this is the first book sa The Madison Sisters Trilogy. So, tapos na to guys. Gora Booms na. Kalagay dito sa aking mini codigs. <laughs> this is so surprising and interesting. Read the synopsis. So, guys, basahin ko daw synopsis. Let's read the synopsis. So, the fairy tale courtship did not turn into a happily ever after, not until her husband dropped dead, that is. He had been horrible enough to kiss Tiana during their short marriage, and she was not going to allow the traditional period of mourning to ruin her sister's debut as well. So she decides to put him on ice and go on as if nothing happened. Until the real Earl appears, Richard Fairgrave had every intention of confronting his villainous twin who had robbed him of his name and title, only to discover that he had died, quietly assuming his identity. Richard must now deal with a maddening desire for his ravishing inherited wife, certainly a gold digger and possibly a murderess, and Christiana must deal with an unwanted new husband, and they both must figure out what to do before the ice melts. Pwede ba guys? Nakaka, ang raming, noong una kong binasa yung synopsis na to, like, what? Ang reaction, so, I think, ito yung susunod ko mabasahin, pagkatapos kong, pagkatapos kong basahin yung libro ni Victoria Alexander. I think, kasi, that is so damn interesting yung synopsis. So, susunod naman na bubuksan natin na package is yung, yung nabili ko kay Kim from Cambridge. The next book is itong Fearborn ni Claire Legrand. So, this is the book one sa The Imperium Trilogy. So, ang naalala ko lang dito is there is two young women centuries apart. So, book na to, merong iba't ibang timeline. Tapos, sa like dito, two young women centuries apart hold the power to either save their world or doom it. Merong ang Queen of Light and Queen of Blood sa kanilang dalawa. Kung sino sa kanila yon hindi natin alam. The next naman is itong libro Dega. So, Nabili ko to sa Instagram. Napanood ko kasi yung video ni Inan the Mood Reader. So, kaya nabudol niya ako. Kaya binili ko to. So, ito, in-order ko to noong February 25. Tapos, na-deliver siya noong March 1. So, it takes. It took how many days bago siya dumating. Kasi sa Instagram, pag gusto niyo mabilis ang order, guys, sa Shopee talaga kayo. Sa Shopee talaga mabilis. Kung 
Papaship out yung ngayon. The next day, makukuha nyo talaga. Ganun siya. So, the next book, guys, is itong Stormfront ni Jim Butcher. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo? <laughs> so, this is the book one sa The Dresden Files series niya. Alam nyo nga, 17 books na yung out at hindi pa siya tapos. So, itong sa buong series na to, this is about a wizard, investigator, or detective Um, pag hindi na kaya ng mga police, yung mga supernatural cases is binibigay sa kanya. Kay Harry Dresden. Ayan. Okay? Tsaka hindi kaso nga lang, hindi siya pantay, guys. Hindi siya pantay. Ayan. So, yung isa matangkad, yung isa maliit, BB. BB siya. Ayan. So, okay lang kasi 14 pesos ko lang ito nabili. As in, 1, 4, 14. So, the next naman is itong The Bell ni Daniel Clayton. So, this is the first book sa The Bells. So, hindi pa siya tapos. So, meron pa lang 2 books na out. Tsaka hardbound to guys. Ayan, hardbound copy. So, sabihin ko na kung tungkol saan itong book na to. So, in this opulent world of Orleans, bells are revered for they control the beauty. And beauty is a commodity coveted above all else. In Orleans, people are born gray. They are born damned and only with the help of a bell and her talents can they transform and be made beautiful. And then the next naman is itong Retribution of Mara Dyer. So this is by Michelle Hodkin. So this is the third book sa Mara Dyer Trilogy. Ayan, tapos na rin to guys. Totoo lang meron akong book 1 nito. And I'm still missing the book too. So, this book is about Mara who woke up on the hospital without any memory on how she got there sa hospital. So, all her friends are killed in the accident and she is the one who is left unharmed. Like, what? Paano siya? Paano siya natira? What's special about her? What happened? So, the next naman guys is yung galing sa Bukulat PH. So, ito galing yung sa FB, yung susunod dalawa. So, mabait naman si Sir Victor talaga. Mabait siya. Pagdating naman sa um, staff, mabait talaga ang staff sa chapters and pages. Kaya hindi na ako nagtataka bakit mabait din yung moderator or admin dito sa Buklat PH. Um, in order ko to noong February 25, tapos na-pick up siya noong March 2 and na-deliver siya noong March 3. Ito, nagbayad ako ng shipping separate, 100 pesos. Naligaw pa nga si Kuya Gogo Express. Lagi ako may problema sa Gogo Express, sa totoo lang. Three times ko pa lang sila nakatransact. Noong first time, as a seller. Tapos, hindi nila na-pick up yung aking pinapick up na book. As in, three times. As in, hindi siya sumasagot sa tawag ko. Binababaan nila ako. Hindi siya sumasagot sa text ko. Tumatawag sila. Gabi na, 6, 7, ganyan. Tapos sabi niya na, the next day na lang na ipipick up. Tapos, the next day, hindi sila pupunta ng umaga. Walang balita and everything, walang text. Tapos, sa araw din na yung tatawag ulit sa nang gabi. Tapos, the next day ulit. Tapos, the next. Tapos, nabuisit na ako kasi nagmamadali na yung buyer. Sabi ko, JNT na lang po tayo, ma'am. Kasi, kasi yung buyer yun na mili na Gogo Express kasi doon mas mura. Pero, napamura ako na sobrang inis ko sa Gogo Express. So, ito, naligaw si Kuya. Yeah, sabi ko, Kuya, where are you? Like, what? Anyway, hindi problema ng shop yun. Problema to ng courier. Kaya hindi ko sisihin yung mga mababait na bookshop sa kasalanan ng mga courier. So, the first book dito sa, ano na to, sa package na to, from Booklet PH, is itong A Rogue by Another Name ni Sarah McLean. Sarah McLean? As in, ito palang yung first physical book ko by Sarah McLean. Akala ko nung una, perfect condition siya, guys. Kasi, lahat ng books from Booklet PH, nakaganito, naka-plastic siya. So, hindi ko pa siya na-check nung una, di ba? Kasi, nagano na talaga ako, nag-book haul video na talaga ako, guys. Ito, yung ibang clip. Ito na, guys. Nagbuksan ko na siya. yun nga crazy. So, totoo lang, kala ko wala talagang problem. Kasi sa picture, wala talagang problema. It looks brand new and everything. Parang wala pang nagbasa. Tapos, yung binuksan ko, guys. This is my first time. Makatanggat-tanggat na itong books. Kasi pag nakita ko ng ganitong libro, sa physical store, hindi ko talaga binibili. Kahit ang ganda ng step back niya, guys. Like, what the, what the fuck is this? This book, this is The first book sa The Rules of Scoundrels series. Uh, four books sa meron sa series na to. Sabi dito, four scandals whispered about in ballrooms. Four aristocrats exiled from society. Now, royalty in the London underworld. Four loves powerful enough to tame the darkness and return these fallen angels to the light. 
So, this book is about a marquee who was cast out from society and with nothing but his title. So now, he is a partner in London's most exclusive gambling hell. He will do everything to regain his inheritance. So, the next book, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited sa book na to dahil never pa ako nagkaroon ng physical copy ng books ni Carolyn Sparks. So, ito, Secret Life of a Vampire by Carolyn Sparks. Meron siyang step back. Ayan. Hindi kayo masyad makita ng step back sa mga paranormal romance. So, pero ito, meron talaga siya. And, I've read it, guys. I've read all of Carolyn Sparks' books. So, this is the 6 books sa Love at Stake series. So, meron siyang 16 books in the series. So, and it is also finished. So, you can read it, guys. And natapos ko na rin po yung buong 16 books. Kaya ito wala akong physical copy kasi binasa ko siya sa ebook and audiobook. And it's the best. Maganda yung audiobook. Maganda yung ebook. Kaya, mm, this is a bingeable series. Kung gusto nyo na ng easy time, guilty pleasure read na mag enjoy lang kayo. Hindi nyo masyadong sisisaryosohin. Ito po siya. Kasi ito yung kind ng paranormal romance na babasa nyo lang dahil gusto nyo lang machill. Wala kang ibang mababasa. Ito. For enjoyment purposes ko, nandang kakaya binasa ko yung libro ni Carolyn Sparks. Eh, nasimulan ko na. Kaya natapos ko siya. Kasi, ang bingeable niya talaga. Ang hindi siya mahirap basa. Yung words, layman's terms lang. Tsaka, character driven siya. Tsaka, may iba't ibang couple per book. Kaya, minsan, hindi sunod-sunod yung pagbasa ko. Kaya, okay lang. This is a horrible paranormal romance. This has vampires, angels, and different kind of shifters. Sa totoo lang, or supernatural creatures meron dito. <laughs> this book is about the legitimate son of the legendary Casanova. And next naman si itong Angel Blood ni Nalini Singh. This is the first book sa The Guild Hunter series niya. So, meron siyang 13 books and it is still continuing pa talaga guys. This book is about a vampire hunter, Elena Devereaux, that is hired by an archangel Raphael to hunt an archangel that gun bad or gun rogue kasi gusto ko ng mga badass female characters na they kick ass so, so the next book naman guys is mga libro ni Joanna Lindsay and you know gusto kong bumili ng books na mura lang ang hirap nga maghanap guys ng mga books historical romance book na may step back online kasi eh. so ito sunod captive of my desires ni Joanna Lindsay and may step back siya guys pero hindi na maganda yung quality ng book Okay lang kasi second na naman siya. So anyway, this is the 8th book sa Mallory Anderson Family Series. So meron siyang 11 books and it is already finished. Okay guys. This book is about a pirate's daughter. The next naman is itong From the Magic of You ni Joanna Lindsay. So hindi ko na siya bubuksan kasi wala po siyang step back. So this the is the 4th book sa Mallory Anderson series. Katod na sila. Kanina meron siya 11 books and tapos na siya. So, this book is about Amy Mallory that wants to marry her uncle's greatest enemy. So, and he doesn't want to marry because he has been betrayed. Yeah. The next book naman is itong, oh my gosh, finding to guys. My goodness. I'm so excited about this book. Dahil ang hirap maghanap ng libro niya na mura lang. Itong Thief of Shadows ni Elizabeth Hoyt. So, part siya ng Maiden Lane series. So, pang number 4 siya. So, sa buong Maiden Lane series, meron siyang 12.5 books. And tapos na siya incompleted. So, yung point five novela siya. So, 12 books talaga siya, pero 13 books in total. Yeah. So, and meron siyang step back. Anong akala ko noong una, wala siyang step back. Kasi dahil dito, nung nakita ko siya, nung una, nakapasik sa disappointed ako. Kasi kala ko fake step back. Pero, meron siyang step back. I'm so happy. Ito lang masabi ko sa inyo, guys, sa Maiden Lane series. Kung gusto niyo ng action, historical romance, maraming mystery, basahin niyo yung book ni Elizabeth Hoyt. Kasi, madidescribe ko lang siya, Batman or Vigilante historical romance set in London. Yun siya. So, the next book naman is itong Chase the Wind ni Madeline Baker. Ay, binili ko to dahil sa cover. Tsaka dahil din dito, yung metallic sheen ng cover niya. Kasi mahilig ako sa mga gold, ganyan. So, meron siyang large type ng step back. I haven't read any books by Madeline Baker. So, tsaka itong book na to, alam ko it's about Native Americans and 
and since I haven't read historical romances about Native Americans, gusto kong matry ng panibago. Ina nakita ko to. Niresearch ko muna guys kung okay ba siya. Okay naman siya. Nakita ko sa Goodreads. So, this is the second book sa Apache Runaway Duology. Alam ko, duology lang siya guys. So, wakay lang kanapin yung book one. Pero alam ko, magkaiba rin ng couple man. Kaya okay lang na basahin ko ito muna. So, this book is about Elizabeth Johnson. She defied her parents' plans to marry her off to a fancy lawyer by fleeing into the desert. Then, there she meets the Apache warrior Chase the Wind. So, pangalan niya Chase the Wind, yung lalaki. Alam ko, marami nangyari dito sa synopsis, guys. So, yun na yung gist. Next naman is itong Savage Honor ni Casey Edwards. So, guys, akala ko din meron siyang step back, pero wala siyang step back. Fake step back lang yan, guys. Itong book na to, Native American Historical Romance ulit siya, guys. This is the 16th book sa The Savage series. So, meron siyang 35 books sa series. So, okay na naman hindi, siya, hindi niyo siya kumplituhin, guys. Tsaka, okay na naman hindi niyo siya basahin na sunod-sunod kasi may iba't ibang couple niya. Kaya, okay lang. Kaya lang siguro tinawag siyang savage series kasi every book niya may word na savage sa book ni Casey Edwards. So, nakita ko rin yung ibang books niya pero hindi ako interested sa synopsis. Hindi, hindi niya nakatch yung aking attention kaya hindi ko binili. So, ito lang yung nakapag-catch ng attention ko. So, sa book na to, a girl disguised as a boy to protect herself but her mother is being accused of witchcraft. Before she can warn her mother, she's been abducted. Si ati girl mo, yeah. Kung sino and bakit? Basahin yun din to guys. Ayan. So the last book dito sa booklet PH. Meron pa book sa sunod guys. Okay. So itong The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro. Ayan. So this is the third book sa Charlotte Holmes series. So meron siyang four books sa series at tapos na siya guys. So I'm and I'm only missing the last book. Meron ako book one, two, three. Kulang ko na lang yung last book. Yeah, yung A Question of Homes. Yun na lang yung kulang ko, guys. Sa book to, Jamie Watson wants to avoid Charlotte. And also, Charlotte Holmes is the great-great-great-granddaughter of the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. But they are both being framed for a murder. And this is also set in a school. Ayan. Sana may romance dun kahit pa paano. Kasi mas gusto ko yung may romance. <laughs> so, the last one is yung galing sa books by chapters and pages ayan ito ito na nabili ko to sa facebook group nila grabe yung pabilisan mag mind 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 my book yan so in order ko to noong february 20 and nakapagbayad ako noong february 22 kasi noong same day na yun binigay nila yung invoice so pwede ka lang bayad pag nabigay na yung invoice sa'yo so pag nabigay sa'kin ng invoice nabayad ka agad ako and then napaship out lang nila noong february 28 and then nadeliver lang siya noong march 3 so ito yata yung pinakamatagal sa lahat na to bago ko matanggap and hindi talaga ako na-impress sa packaging from books by chapters and pages kasi nung dumating na siya sa akin guys yung plastic niya is ngarag-garag na siya may butas-butas na yung plastic buti nga dumating pa siya buo pa siya hindi pa siya nalaglag kasi butas-butas na yung plastic guys siguro problema yun ng courier sa A-Best I'm not sure sa totoo lang Arami ko pa sana ng order din sa books by chapters and pages kasi ng ibang books hindi na siya available. Na pull out the daw. Yung iba naman naunahan ako sa pagmind pero okay lang kasi na-realize ko na hindi ko pa pala siya kailangan yung mga books na yun kasi arami ko, arami ko pang babasahin so okay lang. Unahin na natin tong aking historical romance. Halatang galing pa siya ng half price books guys. So, itong Embed with a Highlander by Maya Banks. Maya Banks po yan guys. So, this is the first book sa Maccabee Trilogy. So, katang sabi ko trilogy tapos na rin to. And I've read this already years ago and paulit-ulit ko itong binabasa. Kasi like ko nakakalimutan din. <laughs> so, sa tatlong books na yun, this is all about three unforgettable brothers that will do everything to save their clan and legacy. So, so the first book, this is about Iwan Nakabi. So, he is the eldest sa magkakapatid. And this is also about Marin, the illegitimate daughter of the king. Sa book na to, there is a first marriage or arranged marriage trope. Pero sa pagkakalala ko sa book na to, itong si ati Marin mo, niligtas niya yung nephew ni Iwan. So, dahil niligtas ni ati Marin mo yung nephew ni Kuya Iwan mo, parang utang na loob na rin. Tapos sinabi din ng nephew na iligtas natin itong si ate girl mo. So, tinulungan ni Iwan ito si ate girl mo 
through marriage para ma-protection nanto si ate girl mo. Ay, yun naman po unang parang nun, guys. Ganun talaga. Like, what? Napahaba na tayo, guys. 45 minutes na to. Oh my God. So, the thing will be hell. The next book is itong The Blade Itself ni Joe Abercrombie. So, this is the first book sa The First Law World or The First Law Trilogy. Ayan. So, meron siyang three books. So, ang alam ko lang dito, susundan natin yung iba't ibang characters na may iba't ibang background. Yun ang pagkakaalala ko. Tsaka, binili ko lang to dahil Joe Abercrombie kasi marami ako narinig ng mga gandang reviews and praises about him kaya sabi ko try ko muna through this book nakita ko to eh sa totoo lang hindi na maganda yung quality ng book na to siguro kung pressuhan ko itong book na to 50 pesos na lang siya hindi na siya masyado maganda kasi siguro mamahal mahal siya ng unti kasi nga si Joe Abercrombie may butas butas na siya dito tsaka Mas hindi na maganda yung quality, pero okay lang kasi second hand naman, guys. Tsaka, hindi ako makapunta ng books. Ilmiss ko na yung books sa so SM Manila. The next book, guys, is itong The Hero of Ages ni Brandon Sanderson. So, this is the third book sa The Miss Born series. So, this is also part of the Cosmere series or universe ni Brandon Sanderson. So, meron na ako first and second book sa trilogy na to and this is the only book that I am missing so hindi ko na kailangan sabihin kung tungkol saan yung The Miss Born trilogy dahil for sure narinig nyo na guys dahil that's Brandon Sanderson and then the last two books guys itong naka-plastic siya pinag-isa na lang nila The Wire Air ni Cinda Williams Shima so this is the first book sa so The Air Chronicles series niya meron siyang five books all in all guys and tapos na siya so and I'm only missing the second book the wizard air nakita ko rin the wizard air dun sa books by chapter same pages pero hindi na daw available kasi na pull out na daw and sad yun na lang kulang ko guys this book is about jack who always take this medicine every day then one day he skips his medicine suddenly he is stronger fiercer and more confident it feels great until he loses control of his own strength and nearly kills another person ayan so totoo mahaba haba yung synopsis so binigyan ko na lang kayo ng gist kung tungkol saan ang book na to so nala ko lang dito is Hunger Games and Harry Potter na pinagsama so ito yun suppress kasi yung powers niya guys through the medicine so tinatago siya the last book sa pagkahaba haba haba habang book ko na to guys it, is itong libro ni Lev Grossman na Lev Grossman design na naman ako get A itong book ni Lev Grossman na The Magician so this is book 1 sa The Magician's trilogy so this is a coming of age novel for adults about a young man practicing magic in the real world. So guys, hindi ko na mabubuhat yung book sa to dahil ang rami. My god, I hope guys you finish watching this video. La, editing will be hell. My god. So guys, may mga nabasa na ba kayo sa mga books na nahol ko ngayon? Please comment below. And also don't forget to click the like button if you enjoy watching this video. Also don't forget to smash the subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can be notified if we post another video. So guys, please don't forget to read more and leave more and always be safe as always and Bye bye. Five minutes later. So crazy sitting aftermath ng ating book. Oh my gosh, maraming basura.